This video is part one in the series on homosexuality and happy theory. According to happy theory, masturbation will make a human being blind and crippled. The crippling of the body follows a particular pattern that is based on the way that the human body is constructed at a deep level. There are other activities that can cause, or are associated with, the same type of symptoms as those caused by masturbation. Excessive exercise, injection of drugs, snorting of drugs, anorexia, excessive sexual activity, and homosexuality will all either cause the same symptoms that are caused by masturbation or are associated with the same symptoms as those caused by masturbation. This video will present an example of happy theory symptoms associated with homosexuality. This picture shows the example human being for this video. This male human being is standing up straight with his head looking straight into the camera. His shoulders and hips look mostly straight and level. The arms naturally hang down from the shoulders along the outside of the torso. Both hands are held partially open with the fingertips resting on the legs. For those people familiar with happy theory, the human body in this picture does exhibit some of the changes predicted by happy theory. Those changes are purposefully being ignored and this picture is being treated as the picture of a normal unchanged human body in order to make the point of this video more clear. The example human being is a male cross-dresser which means he wears clothes made for females. This picture shows the male human being wearing the clothes of a female. This human being is physically the same human being as the one in the previous picture. Mentally though, this male human being is thinking of himself as a female human being. The body posture of the male human being dressed as a female is different from the posture of his body when he was dressed as a male. What does the body posture of the male human being look like when he mentally envisions himself as a female. The entire body has rotated to the left. The rotation of the body puts the right shoulder far in front of the left shoulder and the right leg far in front of the left leg. The head is no longer straight on the body. Because the body rotated to the left, the head must rotate to the right in order for the face to remain looking straight forward. The lower arms cross over in front of the body with the left hand covering the right hand. Although the right hand is obscured by the left hand, the right hand looks closed compared to the opened left hand. Why would the posture of the male human being's body change because he put on female clothing? Could there be something about the effect of female clothing on a male body that would make the posture of a male body change? That does not sound very likely. It seems more reasonable to believe that the change in body posture has something to do with the male human being's mental image of himself when he is wearing female clothing. When the male human being is wearing female clothing, he would mentally be thinking of himself as a female human being. It sounds much more likely that the body posture of a human being would be influenced by the current state of mind of that human being than to believe the change in body posture was due to the style of clothing being worn by that human being. The body posture of the male human being when he mentally thinks of himself as a male will now be compared to the posture of his body when he mentally thinks of himself as a female. When the male thinks of himself as a male his body faces straight at the camera. When the male thinks of himself as a female, his body is angled to the camera. When the male thinks of himself as a male, his head faces straight at the camera. When the male thinks of himself as a female, his head rotates to his right. When the male thinks of himself as a male, he looks like he has two ears. When the male thinks of himself as a female, he looks like he only has one ear. 
When the male thinks of himself as a male, his lower arms are held outside of his body. When the male thinks of himself as a female, his lower arms cross over his body. When the male thinks of himself as a male, his hands are open and resting on his legs. When the male thinks of himself as a female, the right hand closes up while the open left hand is held over the right hand. When this example male human being is wearing female clothing and is mentally thinking of himself as a female, his body clearly demonstrates some of the same bodily changes that according to happy theory are caused by masturbation. His body rotates to his left, his head rotates to his right, and his right hand clenches and moves to the center of his body. According to happy theory, all of those bodily changes can be caused by masturbation. This video has demonstrated that this example male human being, when he mentally thinks of himself as a female, when he is a homosexual, clearly exhibits some of the same physical changes to the body that happy theory claims will be caused by masturbation. A natural question to ask would be, why is homosexuality associated with the same physical changes to the body as those associated with masturbation? Insight into the answer to that question can be provided by the picture of the male human being dressed in female clothing. When the male human being is thinking of himself as a female, he holds his right hand as if he is holding his penis for masturbation. Is it a coincidence that this homosexual male human being, whose body exhibits the same physical changes as those caused by masturbation, is holding his right hand as if he is masturbating? 